Since its inception in 1950, the Formula One World Championship has produced some incredibly close finishes. And here's the top 10 of all time. At 10, it's John Surtees beating Jack Brabham at Monza for a rare Honda F1 victory in 1967. Winning margin, 0.2 seconds. At 9, Michael Schumacher led Ferrari teammate Rubens Barrichello across the line in a controversial orders managed finish in Austria 2002. Even switching places on the podium didn't stop the crowd from booing. Winning margin, 0.182 seconds. At 8, it's Schumacher and Barrichello again in Canada in 2000 following a hold station team order. Winning margin, 0.174 seconds. At seven, Juan Manuel Fangio led Mercedes teammate Carl Kling in a staged finish following the high attrition 1954 French Grand Prix, in which only six cars finished. Winning margin, 0.1 seconds. At six, in an epic Ferrari vs Porsche duel, Giancarlo Baghetti beat Dan Gurney in a drag race to the finish line in the 1961 French Grand Prix. Winning margin, 0.1 seconds. At 5, it's another classic Monza slipstreamer, this time with Jackie Stewart besting Jochen Rindt in 1969. Winning margin, 0.08 seconds. At four, Lotus's Elio De Angelis pit Keke Rosberg of Williams to win the 1982 Austrian Grand Prix after a thrilling final lap. Winning margin, 0.05 seconds. At three, Four years later, Ayrton Senna takes his JPS Lotus to victory in the 1986 Spanish Grand Prix, and this time the defeated Williams ace is Nigel Mansell. Winning margin, 0.014 seconds. At two, it's Barrichello and Schumacher yet again, this time with Michael either attempting to stage a dead heat in the 2002 United States Grand Prix at Indy, or pay Barrichello back for Austria. Winning margin, 0.011 seconds. At one, it had to be Monza. In 1971, Peter Gethin beat Ronnie Peterson by a coat of paint on his BRM's nose cone. It was also one of the fastest Grand Prix of all time at over 240 kilometers per hour. Winning margin, 0.01 seconds. 